okay, this video is for me to figure out how I am going to live without being taken advantage of by my own cell phone. My friend, she uh, works at a company and they had her read this book, How to Build Habit-Forming Products. I think you can kind of tell what this book is about, even just from the icon. Um, but if you needed any other content, it only takes reading the introduction, which I just did, to realize how you are getting your life sucked away by people so that they, their company can make more money and how you end up spending time doing things that you don't care about that you regret afterwards because of an impulse that somebody else consciously engineered into their product. Um, take a look at this. The introduction says, 79% of smartphone owners check their device within 15 minutes of waking up every morning. Perhaps more startling, fully one-third of Americans say they would rather give up sex than lose their cell phones. A 2011 university study suggested people check their phones 34 times per day. However, industry insiders believe that number is closer to an astounding 150 daily sessions. Face it, we're hooked. It's the pull to visit YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter for just a few minutes only to find yourself still only to find yourself still tapping and scrolling an hour later. It's the urge you likely feel throughout your day but hardly notice. And it gets well, if I want to comment on that first. This is fucked up shit. I mean, I personally struggle with getting my mind into a place where I am in control of my own life rather than acting on some kind of impulse. Um, I've only read the first like four pages and already I found this um, so the, the process, he outlines a specific process by which these products get you. And the process is right here. There's a trigger which gets you to do an action. For that action, you don't just get any reward, you get a variable reward every time you engage with the product. You get something, you know, sometimes great and sometimes useless. Um, you that leads you to put your invest your time and energy, or you know, money or whatever it might be into the product, which further increases your likelihood to come back because you feel that you've already you would feel too bad to have wasted that, that time and energy that you already put in. Um, and what I was saying about finding it hard to feel in control of my own life rather than acting on, I don't know, I don't know how I started doing this or how I started spending all this time on this or, um, in the variable reward section, only on page nine, just one of the first few pages. I've barely even started this book. Um, this is, listen to this. Variable rewards are one of the most powerful tools companies implement to hook users. Chapter four explains them in further detail. Research shows that levels of the neurotransmitter dopamine surge when the brain is expecting a reward. Although dopamine is often wrongly categorized as making us feel good, introducing variability does create a focused state which, 
suppresses the areas of the brain associated with judgment and reason while activating the parts associated with wanting and desire. Although classic examples include slot machines and lotteries, variable rewards are prevalent in many other habit-forming products. Um, he continues to say, Um, that he's writing this book for smaller companies because bigger companies already implement these ideas. He says, the tech giants already know these techniques. My goal is to unlock their secrets for the benefit of businesses who want to design and help users develop healthy habits, he says. I feel like that is such a crazy thing to say when when just on the next page well before i go to the next page i think it's insane that this book is intentionally taking people out of a state of good judgment and reason and activating the parts of the brain associated with wanting and desire in their place. Our brain mechanisms were created for a reason. When we get a variable reward, back in the simpler days, when it was just people in nature and something was very variable in a very clear way, that meant that there was an opportunity to learn, which could be something very useful to our survival. If something is unpredictably different every time you do it, you would like to figure it out, you know? Unfortunately, these guys are creating products which have a variable reward which is useless for us to engage with. Yes, every time we open up YouTube we get a different, like, array of videos. Some of them are shit and some of them are... have genuine value. But that variability itself isn't something we're going to learn from. If we only had videos of genuine value all the time, we would learn more than if we got a mix of relevant and irrelevant. Um, I can't believe that, like, as a human species, we are manipulating ourselves and it's not just the big guys manipulating the small guys it's even the people working at these big tech companies themselves get addicted to these products even elon musk i read today responds more to the way that his company is viewed on social media than the advice that his uh, co-workers give. All of us actually get fucked by this. And we're fucking ourselves up. We're fucking up our own species. It's this problem that, you know, why do, why do we do it? Sometimes, sometimes something that is good for the individual, whether that individual be a person or a business, is bad for everyone but it's difficult for a person 
for that individual person to take any other action because of unless they have a really conscious framework against it already um, because of the situation they're in. Imagine you work for a company and they tell you to read this book as my friend does. And what do you do? Do you say, I mean, if you could be completely clear with them, you would say, fuck you. This is a plague of bullshit that's being spread throughout the world that people are being taken out of their rational and clear mind in order to fall into a state of compulsiveness solely for the benefit of the app that is being designed. But you, how do you say that at work? I mean, first of all, you can't say fuck you, but you kind of have to because that's the fucking message, man. This is like a fucked up shit. And if you try to say it in a mm, nice way, it's gonna come over in a weak way and people aren't gonna understand how serious you are about it. And, um, You'll be risking your job to to stand up for something, which, what can I say? If you can, then it can be worth it, you know? But that's hard. We're already living in a world where there are a lot of pressures on people, where, you know, Especially if you want to have a family, you want to support your kids, you lose your ability to speak up for yourself and take risks and oppose. So, yeah. That shit is fucking crazy. I, I can't believe this. This is a book. And I encourage everybody to read this book because at this point, the secret's out. Like, it's not about trying to get this book not to be read every like mobile gaming app that even the design of your phone itself like the operating system on your phone is designed based on these principles the book by the way is just called hooked by near i all this motherfucker who the world would be better if he didn't exist although somebody else would have done it anyway but it could have delayed things a bit. Um, we have enough problems in the world. Anyways. Oh, it's so manipulative, it's insane. I'm gonna make another video about this, it's just too much, but... Thanks for watching this. I hope you... have some degree of success in... Finding back your autonomy in this world in which companies have incentives to take it away from you for the sake of wasting your time on their products. <laughs>